Hey there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and we have a new project for you guys. Everybody has been dying to know how to make these adorable hats, that this has totally been inspired by one of our customers, Tiffany, okay? I'm sure you've seen some of her gorgeous hats that she's done. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so these hats actually came with a little band on them, and I've decided that I don't want this. So I'm just going to work around the edge, okay? And it comes off pretty easily. It was just glued on. Um, you can always save it if you decide to add it back later, but I thought it would be fun to embellish that part of the hat when that we're done with the foiling. Okay, so our first layer is going to be our Bondego Clear. This product is going to seal the surface so that our foil adhesive will work well, okay? Um, the product looks milky white, but it dries completely clear. And if it's sat for any length of time, you guys, make sure that you stir that up really good before you use it. Um, it tends to separate pretty quickly, so you just wanna make sure that you have it stirred up well before you do use it. And then I am just going to go ahead and paint this on the entire rim section, okay? So it's going to make it wet and soak in uh, to the felt and seal it for us so that our foil adhesive, like I said, will work its best, okay? Uh, foil adhesive needs to be on top of a sealed surface, otherwise it soaks in and you don't have enough uh, tack, or what we call wonderful stickiness, um, to transfer your foils. So this is gonna be a couple of layers where we're gonna put our first coat of the Bondego on, and then we're gonna give it a really good test and see if one coat is enough. Um, every hat might be a little bit different depending on maybe the quality, okay? So I found these on Amazon, and I think they might have been about 20 bucks each, okay? Uh, it was not a huge purchase, it was not a real expensive hat, so there could be a difference in quality of material. Um, so I'm gonna suggest that you want to test yours as you go through the process as well. Uh, one coat might be fine, but Okay, we're in the process of discovering here, okay? So be generous. Don't be skimpy with this. Make sure you're getting on a good layer. We need it to soak in and seal, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna double check, make sure that it looks like it's well covered, okay? And then we're just gonna go ahead and give it uh, time to dry. Don't try to blow dry this or rush anything, just allow it to dry. Um, there's definitely gonna be more dry time on this project than some of our other ones, but um, we're trying to prepare a surface uh, for the foils and a surface that will transfer well, okay? We don't want to put a lot of effort into something and then not have it transferred uh, well. So I'm kind of just doing uh, wet on wet and going on for like a second layer. Just making sure that we are super sealed here, okay? Okay guys, I've made it around twice. 
So we should definitely have plenty uh, product on here, okay, for a nice sealed surface. But we're just gonna give this time to dry and then we'll be back for another layer. Okay, our hat is completely dry with our first coat of Bondago Clear. And you'll be able to feel that there is a little difference with the texture, okay? So it feels, um, I wanna say a little stiffer than the top of the hat does because we've got that on there. So our next layer is going to be our foil adhesive and you're gonna be working with our brand Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive. This product comes in four ounce, 10 ounce quarts and gallons. So I am working out of our gallon container and as you can see, it looks milky white in there. Um, it will dry perfectly clear, but it does look milky white in the container. Um, I always take some out and put it on what I call a sticky plate, so I've got a place to work out of, and that way I can also keep my lid on my bucket. So we're gonna do basically what we did with that first coat. We're going to apply a nice, generous layer of the foil adhesive directly over where we have the Bondago Clear. Um, you want to use this straight out of the container. Do not thin it down. You want it at full strength. Um, again, we need for this to dry super tacky, okay, and give us a great release for the foils. So we want a um, little bit more product on here than we would normally apply, okay? Um, when I do my hat, and shoe projects, I'm a little bit more generous with the material because we know that some of it still is going to soak in um, to the fabric, okay, to the felt. I also have a piece of paper underneath me, so if I'm over brushing, it's going onto that paper so that we can throw that away and not get our surface super sticky. Okay, once you have a full coat on there, you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna let this sit and dry. It may take a couple hours. It will depend on how warm, cool, humid it is where you're at, but you wanna make sure it dries completely, okay? We need it to be what we call a firm tack. It'll be tacky when you touch it, but not sticky or wet filling. So we're gonna let this completely dry and we'll be back for the super fun part. Okay, we are back and our foil adhesive has had overnight to dry. And we discovered that our felt is so super thick on this style of hat that I don't feel I have enough adhesive. So instead of trying to go forward and possibly having a failure, we're gonna go ahead and put another layer of foil adhesive on here. So this is just a really good thing that, you know, not all hats are gonna be created equal. Um, this happened to be an inexpensive, okay, um, hat from Amazon. I think we paid maybe about 20 bucks for it. It's definitely a thicker felt, and I know that um, there is just a, a variety of different hats, and you might just have a little trial and error with your project. If you find that your foil adhesive does not feel sticky, you guys, don't go forward, okay? Go ahead, let it, make sure it's dried really well, giving it like the 24 hours that we did. And then if you don't feel like it's sticky enough, take the time to put on another layer. Now, if you have a thinner felt, you might be able to get away with just the one layer. We're gonna definitely probably purchase another hat here to also try because I want to try a couple different styles. I also want to try one with a wider uh, brim on it, okay? Okay, we need to grab some more foil adhesive here. Didn't get enough out. Um, I'm being generous. I've been generous with every layer on here um, because of it being felt and knowing that it was going to soak in a ton of your product, okay? So 
um, don't put it on a thin layer, put on a nice generous layer. And just like me, you guys might have to put on multiple layers, okay? Just to make sure that you have enough adhesive so you'll have a great release, okay? Once again, we're gonna let this dry. Hopefully it'll be dry in a few hours and we can go forward. Okay, everyone, um, our hat is dry. It is super, super sticky, which is what we want it. And we are gonna go ahead and um, start our application on here, okay? So I have chosen to use our Cheat Delicious foil because I think it's just gonna be fabulous on this black hat, okay? And this foil, as you can see, likes to curl, okay? It just wants to curl right back up. So we are going to cut off a strip of this and then I'm gonna cut a narrower piece, okay? So let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna cut right down the middle. So I've just got smaller, large strips to work with, okay? And I think I'm gonna start over here on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the foil right there so it will hopefully lay flat in both directions, okay? So I might have to cut this again on this side. So I'm just trying to get it to lay as flat so I can work on it, okay? So you're gonna be using a plastic bristle brush, okay? I like to try to find them as short as possible because they seem to be stiffer. And a stiff brush is going to be best for scrubbing and transferring the foils. I also have a toothbrush here. Again, my toothbrush is stiff, but it's gonna help you get right up to that edge. And after you have scrubbed a little bit, you're gonna wanna peek, okay, and see how the transfer. We have a lot of texture here, so we might have to scrub a little bit more in some of these areas to get it into all of the texture, okay? So it's good to peel it back, see what you've got so far, and then come back and scrub again. Okay, and that's filling it in nicely. Okay, so we're just gonna continue to scrub and transfer this foil. Okay, let's peel off our first piece and take a look at that, you guys. Look how absolutely cool that is going to be. This is going to be a fabulous custom hat. Woo, how exciting. Okay, everyone, look at that. This is gonna be absolutely stunning. We just need to go find uh, some ribbon to embellish around the top of here, and we will be done, you guys. This is gonna be awesome. Now, if you feel any stick, you guys go ahead and cover with one coat or possibly two of your final coat and that will seal in if there is any adhesive still exposed or you feel anything sticky. Okay, we'll be back to show you our finished product when we buy some ribbon, yay! 